I was at work one day and we needed somebody to voice a commercial for one of our car dealerships. And as a joke, I read it and shockingly, everyone was like, that was kind of good. I've done commercials for national airlines. I'm in a video game for playing soccer. I get to voice all sorts of projects and it's a lot of fun. There are times when I go on vacation officially or you know, we're on the bus and we stop somewhere really cool and we wanna go explore for a few days. And that's when I shut off my work and I let my clients know that I won't be available. My name's Alice Everdeen. I'm 31 years old. I'm a voiceover artist and I travel full time in my bus conversion with my dog and my boyfriend. And I'm currently in Lacombe, Louisiana. Growing up, I would always mock the radio, anything I heard. One of my favorites was the Downs Ford commercial in New Jersey. Downs Ford, you'll love the feeling. Downs Ford, you'll love the price. And if you wanna buy a car or truck, they always trade you right. I would do this all day, every day. I don't know why, but somehow it ended up paying off years later. So I'm not mad about it. When I first started doing voiceovers, I was just doing it for the advertising agency I worked at. And I probably voiced about maybe 10 of them or so for this one car dealership nearby. That was my only real experience in that realm. My first month on Fiverr, I made over $1,000. And so I would say about Three months in, I was really considering trying to do it full-time because I started to match my full-time salary. And within, I believe, four or five months, I was able to quit my full-time job. At the moment, I'm completing about 150 jobs a month. It's been about two and a half years and I've completed, I believe, just under 3,000 jobs. So it got really busy really quickly. I mostly do commercial TV and radio spots. I also do a lot of phone recordings, which is a lot of fun. Thanks for calling Stanfield Veterinary Services. For sales, press one. One day, Jay and I were having a couple drinks. We were talking about goals that we had and things we wanted to do. And we both realized that we wanted to travel more and we never really had the opportunity. We wanted to do a bus because they're a lot more customizable. RVs typically have a set layout. They're also not as safe. Buses are made to keep, you know, dozens of kids safe. We're bringing it home. Woo! <laughs> we took out all of the seats, we took out all of the windows. We stripped this thing down to nothing and built it from the ground level. This is our school bus that we converted into our home. From the bumper to bumper, it's about 30 feet, but inside we have 21 feet from the dashboard all the way back. Our seat converts into our bed, which is actually a pretty cool feature since it saves so much space. We are fully set up to be completely off-grid. We have a phone booster that is a antenna at the side of the bus and that boosts our signal. We also have solar panels on our roof of our bus, so that gives us all the energy we need throughout the day to use our appliances, to use our phones, all sorts of stuff. Over here, we have our wood-burning stove. We really wanted something that was small and super efficient that we could possibly reach from our bed, but still be a safe enough distance away that obviously we're not gonna burn the bus down. We have a full kitchen area because I cook a lot, as you can see, by all the spices everywhere. We have a full, you know, apartment size range. It's 24 inches. This is actually our freezer. We have a chest style virgin freezer full of, you know, alcohol and Ben and Jerry's. It's the course. two most important things. <laughs> Jay is a master with water. 
He built the bus so that we can suck up water from a body of water that doesn't have salt in it and filter it on board into purified drinking water. So really, really cool. It's a full wet room. We have a composting toilet from separate, full shower, and also we can use this as a back door. Basically, we just want to have a really nice view and we poop. That was actually, that's not actually a joke. My whole life, I kind of didn't have the best relationship with money, meaning I would spend all of it on travel and then I would pay down my credit cards and I would do it over and over and over again. When I started making more money, I really realized that I needed to have a better grip on where my money was going. I finally got an accountant to handle things for me and try to set me on the right path. Our expenses are generally limited to car insurance, gas, pet insurance, some subscriptions I have for my work, cell phone bills. We have Verizon and T-Mobile, and that allows us to expand our coverage as much as possible to be able to pick up signal and have internet connections in more rural areas and across the country. I would say we usually spend the most money on high quality food and going out to eat because we love to try awesome new restaurants. But in addition to that, gas is definitely a killer. Parking the bus can be difficult at times. They have hip camp, which is like Airbnb for RVers or tenters. In addition to that, there's state parks, national parks, there's government land where you can park for free. Or a lot of people go the Cracker Barrel and Walmart route and they just kind of stay in the parking lot. Love Cracker Barrel. They have RV parking overnight and their expectation is that you go there for a meal. And luckily, we love biscuits and gravy, so it works out for everybody. In the past, I've been really stressed out over credit card debt. And I've kind of come to realize that it is what it is. I can't change it. All I can do is pay it down and call it a day. So each month I pay down as much as I can and whatever rolls over, rolls over. We had a couple unexpected expenses. Primarily we broke down, which was about $1,200. Luckily it was only that much. Towing a 25,000 pound bus is not cheap and where you break down can really play a role in how much money you spend. Over the next five to 10 years, our goals are to obviously pay off the debt from the bus build, but we're also hoping to buy property at some point. We'd love to have a couple spots across the country where we can go and hang out for a few weeks and maybe build something or just a, a spot to visit. At this point, we really don't know how long we're gonna travel for. And I think that's kind of the beauty of being on the road is you kind of go where the wind takes you. Being on the bus is a different kind of fulfillment. I feel like prior to this, I was very caught up in wanting more and needing more. And now that I have everything I need in such a small space, I'm not as stressed as I was. I don't have to make as many decisions every day. I can spend time with the people I love. It's a different sense of freedom that I didn't think I would ever feel. And this is the first time in my life where I haven't just constantly wanted more.